Hello. I'm going to be going over preparing a Schedule A. I'll be going through the Hess family return. So if you do want to follow along, now uh, you can hear my beautiful voice while working on it yourself on another screen. Uh, pause the video, pull up the Hess return. Um, I am just sitting uh, right in the beginning of the income menu here. If you have the return pulled up already, you can just follow along with me. I'm going to start off by looking at the Form 1098. Now, we do not see a lot of Schedule A's here at VITA. With some of the tax law changes, we will see even less next year, which is why we're just doing this in the form of a video in case it's needed for the test, or if you do see it at the site. It's not hard, um, but it's just good to have some familiarity with preparing a Schedule A. So again, I'm looking at the Hess family, 1098. So I'm here in the income menu, and that's not too helpful to me, but I'm looking at 1098, so I'm just going to enter up here 1098 to get me started off. Now, let's see if this is an interesting example. They even have a 1098. All right, form 1098. So, again, that's one way to get to a 1098. The other way of doing it, if I know I'm going to be doing a schedule A, I'm going to go to deductions, enter myself, itemize deductions, and hit begin. So, again, starting off with 1098, mortgage and interest expenses, we'll hit begin. Mortgage and interest reported on 1098, okay. So here we can put in the real estate taxes before we go on further. So in this example, we have them just listed at 3500 If they're paid through escrow, sometimes you'll see it with the 1098 on a statement, otherwise you'll have to ask. So we have that, then we can hit add interest and points paid. So here we're going to put points through loans. Oops. Again, we always say use caps lock. So let's do that again in caps lock. Interest paid. So coming right off the form here, we have $2,500 of interest paid. Now there are no points paid. That's on box two. What we do have is mortgage insurance. So we'll have to add that somewhere else. So we'll hit continue. Okay, so we have our interest reported here. So we'll hit continue again. Now we see our property tax. That's good. The only other thing we still need to do is that mortgage insurance. This is kind of confusing because you have to enter it in three different places. But now we have our Schedule I interest in the same menu here. This is where we'll see PMI or the mortgage insurance. Put our 800 in there. So now we're good to go. We have everything from our 1098. We have our interest paid, we have our insurance, and we have our real estate taxes. So I'm just going to click here to move on to the main itemized deductions menu. Now looking at the forms on our Schedule A deductions, we have medical and dental expenses. That's the first one. So let's cruise there now. Medical and dental expenses, we'll hit begin. Schedule A is just all about navigating around and just knowing where to put different items. So medical and dental insurance. Now this is very important. When we prepared this return on the 1099 FSA for Karen, we put that she paid $1,200 of uh, Medicare, which was reported on the SSA. So the software knows that. So we see on our list here that she paid $1,200, but we don't want to put that in here because it already carries forward. That's confusing because it doesn't show us. So we see medical insurance premiums for Robert, so we're just going to put 600 in there. Okay, amount paid to doctors and dentists. And the next one is long-term care insurance, actually. So I will go do that. I'm just going to check them down as they appear. So long-term care insurance goes down here. Add premiums. We're just going to select who it's for. It's for Karen. Put the premiums paid. If it's more than one person, you'll see here, then we would add another one. Otherwise, we'll hit continue, which will take us back here to our medical deductions. Now we can check off. We got the Medicare Part B, which is automatically carried over. The $600, which we put in. The long-term care, which we threw in at the bottom. Now we have medical miles. So where are they? Medical miles. 
we can just put them all together, and that's in miles. So that's 150 miles because we have 75 for Robert and 75 for Karen. Next is prescription drug costs. And, of course, that's the unreimbursed version. Not unreimbursed version, excuse me, the unreimbursed portion. There's $1,000 there. So where is that prescription? $1,000. And you can hit this. Oh, I'll try a different one. So you can break it up. So you can put Karen's, Robert's. You do not need to do that, though. All right, so Dr. Bill's and Dennis Bill's. We have 800 and 200 is 1,000. But we also have to include the dentist, so that's 1,500 for the two of them. Okay, so that takes care of everything for medical. So again, we have our 600. The 1,200 is already carried over. We have our doctor dentist bills, prescriptions, medical miles, and in here, we can hit edit and see what we did here. We have $1,500 of long-term care insurance for Karen. Great. So moving on, we'll hit continue. Again, I'm just going to keep hit and continue here, which will take me back to this itemized deduction screen. So next we have taxes that they paid. So we'll go here to taxes that you paid. Now we see this real estate tax that we already entered in, so that's good. We know that's there. Excuse me, my mistake. Good lesson there. So taxes you paid. I hit continue and went back. We actually want to edit the taxes that we paid. So we're going to hit edit. Now, additional state and local income tax, as long as you entered everything on your W-2, you're fine there. We don't have to worry about sales tax because they're working. We have our real estate tax. Now we get to other taxes. So if you remember, back when you did the HES return the first time, there were those box 14 amounts from the W-2, and we said don't enter them in. So that's LST and SUI, which is local service tax, and state unemployment tax. Now those are deductible on Schedule A. We told you not to enter them in in W-2 because tax layer is not smart enough to carry them over the Schedule A. And there's a drop-down menu with no selection for them. So while they're not important to enter in in the W-2, they are important if the client is itemizing. So again, they go into other taxes. You can literally just type in LST and SUI, add them all together for everybody. So looking in box 14 of Robert's W-2, there's $52 and $10. Karen's box 14 on her W-2 has $26 and $5. So all that added together is $93. All right. So that's all we really need to do to add the other taxes. I'm going to hit continue. Continue again will take us back to this main menu. So what else do we have? So we have our interest paid. Now, I'm just looking at the Schedule A deductions list, but we already have the 2500 from the 1098 and the 800 also from the 1098, so we don't have to mess with that. Lastly is gifts to charity. So where is that? Gifts to charity. Hit begin. So we have some cash gifts. So the charity name, uh, which one do we have? So we have the church. Description, this doesn't go to the IRS. We can put church. We can actually just leave that blank. If there is not a specific date or if it's like get a church and you're giving every Sunday, you can just put that, which is fine, and then put the amount donated. Now, there is this override button. So if you want, you can just put $1 amount that was given. What you can't do, though, is do the church in one line and then try to override everything else. So either put them in each individually or use the override button. I'm going to enter them individually. So we have wounded warrior. Again, there's no date. So I'm going to put 1231. Gave $900. I'm going to continue. I'm going to add another one. We have Salvation Army. Salvation Army. I'm not going to put anything there. Don't have a date. Oopsies. Okay. 
hundred dollars. Oh, great. So he has the cash gifts. So then there's an other than cash to Goodwill. So we're going to hit continue here. Now, non-cash gifts. There's some extra work he has to do with more than $500. Not going to see too many more than $500 cash gifts. So we're going to non-cash gifts. So we can put in miles. Do we have? Yes, we do have some miles. So we can put in 300 miles. Less non-cash less than or equal to five hundred dollars. So we do have that. We have goodwill hundred dollars. There we go. So that actually takes care of our schedule. Act. So we have our cash gifts. Sorry, our gifts that's dealt with. So let's hit continue. Hit continue again. Now, where our deduction screen? So one. And this is new this year in Slayer, but one of the easiest, coolest ways to look at how we're doing with our itemized deductions is just to hit this print next to itemized deductions, and that will pull up just the Schedule A form. So here's a very nice layout of what's going on. So we can see that we have our medical expenses, Go through our income tax. You can just review everything and make sure we have everything correct. Now, there are some software updates and changes, so don't worry about my specific numbers here. As long as you know how to use the software and know that you can pull this up to check your work. From there, if you want to get out of here, you can just close this out entirely. That will take you back here to tax player. We can hit continue through. Compare deductions is nice. You can just hit compare deductions. Again, don't worry about my number. Um, you can see the standard deduction versus the itemized deductions um, in case the client is asking. Now, for some reason, my itemized deductions are incredibly low. All right, so that concludes the deductions. Again, don't worry about my numbers there. Uh, that's probably a funky software thing, or I didn't, if I hit continue all the way back out, I should be able to get better numbers. Um, but that is, again, how you prepare a Schedule A and how you put each of the numbers in their places. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. And there will be another separate video for return finishing and quality review, in addition to the beginning of the HES information. So thanks again for joining me.